Hello everyone, this is Loot Games channel. When you play Farming Simulator, someday you will get tired of growing soybeans and you will come to try yourself in Animal Husbandry. Perhaps you should start with the chickens. These are the simplest animals that require minimum of care. And I will tell you how to take care of them and what income you can get. To get started, go to the store in the section of Animal Pens. A small chicken coop for 100 chickens costs 20,000. A large chicken coop for 400 chickens costs 40,000. Select the desired chicken coop. Installing any building in Farming Simulator deforms the landscape. In fact, this makes the landscape flat under the building, but yes, it deforms it. I hope it's clear. Therefore, before you put the chicken coop, it's better to align the landscape yourself. Just hold down the right and left mouse buttons in the landscape editor. So at least the result will be predictable. Also, make sure that you have access to the service areas. If it necessary, you can turn the chicken coop with the arrows on keyboard. Also, when you press the C key, the chicken coop will rotate by a fixed degree. And it will snap to the grid. Now let's see what kind of service area are here. There are only three of them. Feeding and cleaning area. Chicken buying and selling area. Egg spawning area. First, you need to buy chickens. Go to the push ace area, press R. Here we see three kind of chicken and one rooster. Which ones to choose? They differ only visually, so choose for yourself. But I advise you to buy only one kind of chickens in one chicken coop. Each chicken costs $50 plus $15 for delivery. You want to be able to save on delivery because in vanilla games there is no transfer for chickens. I must say right away, the rooster is simple decoration. It doesn't take any part in the reproduction and production of eggs. So there is no point in buying it. By double clicking or pressing enter, we transfer the chickens to the chicken coop and click the confirm button. That's it. We bought the chickens. Press escape, look in the tab animals. There is a line of the chicken coop. Here we have productivity indicator. Here is the cleanliness. Here is the amount of feed. The first reason why I advised you to buy only one kind of chicken, one kind takes only one line. Four kinds will take four lines. Imagine that you have several kinds of chickens, cows, pig and sheep. How it will be look like? What should we do with chickens now? First of all, feed them. Chickens are eating wheat or barley. There is no difference at all. However, if you make food supplies, it's better to grow barley. It will give more volume. We just pour out the feed in the feeding area. Look in the animal tab again. The chickens are full. After a while, they begin to produce eggs. Eggs appear in these boxes. In one box, 150 liters of eggs. Yes, in terms of game mechanics, eggs are still measured in liters. Let's assume that uh, one liter is one egg. A maximum of 20 boxes can be placed in this area, or 3000 eggs. And we take these boxes with the left mouse button and put them into the back of pickup truck or on the flat trailer. Boxes can be attached with a belt and it's better to really fix them because it can be lost on any bump. How to sell? We need to put this box on the selling area. Most likely, you need to take the box in your hands and throw them into the sales area. Finding a trailer low enough will make it a little easier to sell eggs. In addition to feeding, we need to clean the chicken coop. You don't need to go inside the chicken coop. Chickens scatter food in the feeding area. We collect the scattered food with a bucket and dump it back. That's all. If you keep the feeding area clean, the productivity will be 100%. If you do not clean, 90%. And so, we spend 20,000 for a small chicken coop. Completely filling it with chickens will cost $6,500. And total of $26,500. The amount is not very large. One chicken eats 5 liters of feed per day. 100 chickens eat 500 liters per day. If you completely fill the feeding area, it will be enough for 10 days. By the way, 100 chickens scatter 1,000 liters of wheat per day. Even if you feed them with barley, they still scatter wheat. 
if you pour it back out, the cost will be 400 liters per day in fact. I looked the amount of food in the game files, but with the number of eggs per day it's not so simple. For example, according with the game files, cows bring a fixed amount of milk and manure per day. Chickens have a different system. According to wiki, productivity is not linear. Productivity starts at uh, 0 eggs per 15 minutes. But every 15 minutes productivity increased by a number. 0 0.001 multiplied by the number of chickens. Productivity increase until the X box is full. When the next box starts to fill up, the productivity starts again from zero, and the process starts again. If you don't understand anything, that's okay. But this system has interesting effect. For example, in fact, one chicken does not bring eggs. So I had to count the eggs in the game. For several days from 8 am to 8 am, I checked how many eggs bring 100 and 400 chickens. I also did the cleaning once a day. The results were different every day. At some point I even put a second chicken coop for 400 chickens. And all the same, eggs appeared in different quantities in two identical coops for the same time. The small chicken coop with 100 chickens were producing from 120 to 500 eggs per day. So we are spent 500 liters of barley, which we could have sold for $190. Eggs can easily be sold for $1,800 per 1,000 liters, I mean 1,000 eggs. And 450 eggs will bring us about $810 every day. We see that instead of selling barley just like that, it's more profitable to pass it through the chickens and raise its price 3 or 4 times. Chicken feed can be bought at the store, but 100 liters cost 1,500. That's exactly $750 per day for 100 chicken. On hard difficulty, there is no point to buying food from the store. In theory, 400 chicken should produce at least 1,600 eggs per day. But because of this strange egg production system, 400 chicken were producing between 700 and 900 eggs per day. Once 988 eggs. If we sell 800 eggs every day, we will receive $1,400. 400 chickens eat 2,000 liters of feed every day. For 2,000 liters of barley, we can get $760. In this case, we will double the cost of barley. In fact, keeping two coops for 100 chickens is more profitable than one coops for 400 chickens. Now I will advise a couple of mods for collecting eggs. I am using four mods. The third is the IT Runner Pack. It is a trailer with a hook clip and several platforms. Then you can download this platform, which configure it for eggs, milk or wool. We leave this platform near the chicken coop, and when there's time, we load the eggs into it. We just take our eggs and throw them toward this platform. It doesn't always work well, but you can just put it in the egg spawn area. The boxes don't appear there in this case. 90,200 eggs are placed on this platform. When platform is full, you can wait for a good price for eggs and sell everything at once. Next mod I use egg pellet. We buy it in the store, put it to the egg spawn area. Eggs will spawn right in this pellet. It holds 2,400 eggs. After filling, the pallet must be loaded onto the trailer and transported for sale. Selling will most likely require unloading pallets. I advise you to use a tractor with loader. When we played Coop, we came up with this. We load four pallets in load trailer. Play this trailer in the egg spawn area. Eggs spawn directly on pallets. It remains only to bring them for sale. The trailer is low enough and the eggs hit the trigger. It's not easy to sell all four pellets, you have to fidget a little. But you can still sell eggs without using a loader. But the most interesting thing looks like this pellet is breaking the egg spawn system. As a result, 100 chicken can produce 1200 eggs per day, and 400 chicken can completely fill the pellets with 2400 eggs. 
the wiki also says that if you do not give the boxes fill up to 150 eggs, for example, kick them out when there is uh, 140, then the productivity will not be reset. Breeding chickens. The formula for new chickens per day, 0.1 multiplied by the number of chickens. If you have one chicken in your coop, then after 10 days the second will appear. If you have two chickens, the third will appear in 5 days. If there are 10 chickens in coop, the next one will appear in 24 hours. If you have 100 chickens, the next will appear in 2 and a half hours. And by the way, this is the second reason why it's better to keep chickens of the same color in one chicken coop. The breeding is calculated only within one color. Let's imagine an animal that reproduces itself every 9 hours. We put three animals of different colors in one pen. In the second pen we will put three such animals of the same color. In the first pen, after 9 hours, three new animals will appear. And there will be six of them. It's simple. But in the second pen, after 3 hours, a fourth animal will appear. Now, 4 animals will produce a fifth not in 3 hours, but in 2 hours and 15 minutes. And 5 animals will produce the sixth in 1 hour and 48 minutes. In fact, we will get 6 animals of the same color a couple of hours earlier than 6 animals of 3 colors. I hope you understand it. Let's move on. We can sell one chicken for $25. But we have to pay additionally $15 for shipping. Total $10 profit. Let's talk about profit per day. If you have chicken coop for 100 chickens, you can sell no more than 9 chickens per day. So that after 24 hours, they will again become 100. That's $90 per day. If you have a large chicken coop for 400 chickens, you can sell 30 chickens every day. Maybe more. The profit is $300. What is more profitable, selling chicken or keeping the chicken coop full? If you use a pallet mod, you don't need to sell chickens. And what about without mods? I also experimented for several days of play. Every day I sold 30 chickens in a large chicken coop and 9 chickens in a small one. If you have a small chicken coop, there is definitely no point in selling chickens. Less eggs are produced and $90 does not cover the difference. It's a little more difficult with a large chicken coop. There may be a problem with this egg respawn system. A couple of times, when I started the test with 370 chickens, the number of eggs was even more than when there was uh, 400 chickens. I get the feeling that there is an element of randomness here. All the above applies to animal on vanilla maps and mod maps that use a characteristic of animal from the main game files most maps using it. But sometimes map makers change the characteristic of animals. How know if the mod maps has the same animals as in vanilla? You need to open the main map file in the archive of mod map. Find this line. If the path to the file begins with this sign, it means that the animals on this map will be the same as on vanilla map. So that's all. Thank you for watching and goodbye everyone.